Hey, this is Ben from techlockdown.com, and today I want to tell you about a bypass prevention technique for iPhone that's pretty effective at preventing someone from getting around a home Wi-Fi connection that's pointed to a content filter. If you've set up a content policy to block adult content, security threats, and maybe even enforce like an internet downtime in your house, a really quick way to get all of the devices in your, your house to to abide by these ground rules is to simply point your router to that content policy. Then every, every device at your house that's using your home Wi-Fi connection is going to inherit that content policy. Now the problem with this is that if you're an iPhone user, you can simply turn off your Wi-Fi and use like your phone's 5G connection to browse the internet. And now it's not pointed to your router, which is using the, the content policy, it's just pointed to the open internet and there's no ground rules being enforced. There are actually a few ways that you can pretty effectively deal with this bypass prevention technique, but in this video, I just wanna focus on how you can ensure that if the iPhone is browsing the internet at home, that it's using your filtered home internet connection. So the first thing we're gonna do is prevent the iPhone from turning off Wi-Fi at all. And then the next thing we're gonna do is make it so that it auto connects to your home's filtered Wi-Fi connection when it's within range of your house. Now this won't prevent the iPhone from using roaming internet connection if you need to, like if you're away from home and using an iPhone in, in another place, it will not have a Wi-Fi network to connect to, so it will fall back to your phone's roaming internet connection. You'll also still be able to connect to like a Wi-Fi network at a coffee shop or a hotel or an airport, but when you're at home, it's just going to auto connect to the Wi-Fi network that um, it's been set to auto connect to. One of the nice things about an iPhone is that you can download configuration files that set specific restrictions that you specify on your device. You don't need an app to do this. You can just download a file, install it, and then whatever configuration you added will be applied to that iPhone. Apple also lets you set up something called supervised mode that allows you to install these configuration files and then prevent them from being removed at all. So to get started with this, I'm gonna connect my iPhone to a MacBook Air and then open a program called Apple Configurator. This is a tool that you can use to create these configuration files and then install them on the iPhone that's connected to your MacBook Air. From here, I'm gonna make a new profile and these are basically just configuration files that Apple Configurator calls them profiles and then I'm going to prevent it from being removed since I have supervised mode enabled on this iPhone. Now I'm gonna to go to the Wi-Fi section and configure a Wi-Fi connection to point to my home network. So I'm gonna fill in some things like the SSID field, which that's just the name of my Wi-Fi network. And then I'm gonna make sure that it auto joins it. And I'm gonna select a security type, which it's just WPA2 if you, if you connect to your Wi-Fi network with a password. Now the next thing you need to do is go to the restrictions section and then scroll down until you find the checkbox related to forcing the Wi-Fi power on. So now you can save this profile and you can add it to the connected iPhone. You should be able to see that you won't be able to turn off Wi-Fi anymore and then it should just be connected to your home network since probably you're at home doing this and following this setup. So that's the whole setup process. Uh, when, you're, when this iPhone is using the internet at home, it should prefer your filtered home Wi-Fi connection. As long as your router is pointed to the content policy, this iPhone should, should be benefiting from those ground rules that you've set up. Like I said earlier, there's quite a few things that you can do to prevent a content policy from being bypassed. You don't just have to do this technique. There's probably 10 other things you can do. We go through this extensively on techlockdown.com and I'm gonna link to some of the free resources we have below. If this was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer.